hello hello my favorites in today short video me and my bon bon zoro you probably had the pleasure to meet him um we're gonna open another room today today is uh i think it's a february 10th something like that and it's by the way not as warm as yesterday yesterday was plus 16 today's plus seven so and it's windy and but it still is beautiful i'm in the nature in a different park but as you probably notice i love parks i love nature so we're gonna take my bag i have only one hand that is functional the other hand i hold my phone and i hold a banilish Okay, so I'm gonna put it in my in my pocket and I just gonna okay that's fine I just gonna do it like this <laughs> okay oh almost two came but I'm not gonna I don't want to do two because I'm gonna talk till tomorrow okay so guess what it is it's a raido raido uh, it means movement, uh, road, it also means carriage, like carriage when you, uh, a long time ago, the horses used to move the carriage, right though. Uh, I love the, this road. So I had a question, I was asking what's there for me in your future, but also if you see this video and if you decide to watch it, that may be, it's your reading too. I love this rune, like all of them, but this is a great rune, especially when you combine with rune uh, Feho and rune Yero. Uh, when you work with that combination, it means you got to move your rear end to get money and to get to flotation, basically, Yero is. Anyway, um, I'm not going to discuss the runes that didn't come in today's reading, so Raido, Raido. Uh, so rune raido in a positive basically in the upright um, I never mentioned by the way if it's an upright or if it's sometime you pick up a rune and it's upside down I to be honest never pick up runes that were upside just gonna put it back in my bag I never had a rune that uh, came in upside down reading maybe I'm lucky Foot, 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 knock on the wood <laughs> but anyway uh so right though it's it's time to move your your buttocks it's time to move towards whatever your goal is if you planning or you on the real way to build a business or to make a next step towards uh grow your business uh maybe get more stuff in your business maybe um hire more people for your business for your line of work or maybe you want to just literally move from uh, one uh, house to another maybe you want to sell or buy so this is time to act so that rune represents time to act my dear in relationship could be uh, not could be it means exactly the same it's time to move uh, towards your goal like if your goal is to build a better relationship stronger relationship or maybe to propose to your loved one doesn't matter if you're man or woman even as a woman sometimes you date a man that uh, you need to take a charge <laughs> so you need to propose sometime or at least like uh, give a hint because some women act the way that the man literally scared to uh, to move forward in terms of like uh, progressive relationship to, to, in terms of um, <laughs> take a serious step um, towards this relationship and development, right? Um, it's also um, can have a meaning that there is a pleasant trip on your way. A uh, trip or some kind of a, um, a nice travel. It doesn't have to be across the globe. It could be um, in the next city, in the next town. Maybe I'm in, in the next province, I'm in Canada, if you're in the States, uh, next state. <laughs> um, 
so that could be that and it's also again um rune rider invites you to take a a step a step forward step forward <laughs> or a leap forward and it means it's good for you it's time to take that step so in the uh, money world if your question is about uh, money if you do that reading again i don't do a lot of runic reading i mostly work with them as a uh, the whole totem the, the whole egregor the whole artifact of uh, symbols and um, qualities of uh, uh, different gods and um, from Asgard, <laughs> uh, from Scandinavian world. Um, but if you do it in a reading, if that rune came to your reading, that's what it means. And in the money means you might get upgraded at your work, uh, you might get promoted, and it's time to act. So don't say no, 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 no. I'm not ready for that. Just take that leap, take that change, take that charge. So it's time to. Now, if that rune, um, I already put it in the bag, if that rune comes in an upside down position, basically in a, uh, well, an upside down, right? <laughs> um, it means to slow down, uh, be careful, uh, take a lot of consideration, and think about every action you do. And if it comes about the business, relationship, vice versa, it means just take it, take it slowly, take it easy, take your time, uh, look around and think before you act. That basically exactly the opposite reading of a proper, uh, proper uh, runic reading of Raido in a proper position, in an upright position. So I think that reading is going to be very short, like I promised you. I didn't want to go into too much of the too much of too much because <laughs> my uh my very last video uh came to 23 minutes and uh, recently somebody told me if your videos were uh, um, not as long i would watch them all but they're like over 20 minutes so sometimes you cannot put what you want to put in uh five minutes or 10 minutes right right now i'm in seven minutes 29 seconds <laughs> um yeah, so uh, again, Rune Raido, it's very positive in your reading when it comes to your reading. If you want to work with that rune, again, uh, it's um, it's about get that energy of movement, get that energy, especially if you, you know or you feel you are procrastinating for a long time, uh, you are slowing down, you're not on time for your... Um, for some type of business development uh, maybe in your job maybe in your school maybe in your career maybe in your love life then it's time to act and that rune is good to when you work at that with a symbol either you put it on your forearm when you write it or you make a little amulet on the stone on the wood on a piece of paper and you carry it with you uh, as long as it's visible and you can see throughout the day to remind you of that quality and in my previous videos I already said that uh, the best way to work with runes is to study them each of them and oh by the way um, if you have more questions for more work for uh, classes workshops etc although I didn't announce them officially on my website I do offer mentorship I do offer uh, work of one-on-one -on -one with uh, each individual it doesn't matter where you are in the world as long as you have internet computer or a cell phone and as long as you speak english um i do speak other languages i do speak uh, proper russian <laughs> and i do speak a little bit of ukrainian as my mom is from that uh, region so i do understand fluently but i I would not say I speak perfectly Ukrainian. I understand, I understand it all, but I, um, I speak a broken Ukrainian. Let's put it that way. <laughs> um, what else? So that's that's it for today's reading. Um, so once I gonna cover the whole runes again, sometime in the reading, a uh, rune can repeat themselves, right? 
uh, we are lucky we've been lucky in the last three or four readings I've been doing um, uh, different runes come to a reading well there are 24 in the old foot arc why I call that major foot arc it's actually like uh, old foot arc and um, I'm planning to make a new series where I build I'll be sitting uh, probably in my uh, at my place where is a proper lightning um, where I'll be covering the entire a uh, single rune and how with a combination with which other rune you can increase its work you can increase its power you can increase uh, its significance and uh, where you can uh, work with that already in a more um, in the power of uh, just the car and uh, people are just watching me I'm not sure why <laughs> Um, yeah, so where you work with the power of room, where you work with, uh, especially when you combine one or two or three sometimes. Now, it will take you time because you gotta, you gotta take it easy and take it slowly, one by one first. And I would advise you guys buy yourself a, um, like a map or a chart of um, runic symbols and start to leave one by one in the proper sequence because the each of them uh, go by certain sequence right and um, uh, yeah so I think yesterday we got to the rune Otal and I think Otal is one of the last uh, runic symbol uh, in the uh, runic alphabet I believe so um, I might be mistaken I just like sometime I I don't remember everything right um, Again, don't forget to like and subscribe. I only spoke for 20, 12 minutes, so that should, shouldn't be overwhelming you. Like and subscribe, check my website down below. I post it in, uh, in the information section. Uh, always check my website for new updates. Currently I have 50% discount for um, any kind of work with me, any kind of, um, um, if you're working with incantation, candles, runic symbols, numerology, etc., etc., so 50%, that's a huge discount, I think. Right? So, um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao.